Debbie Hoffman. I'm a reference librarian here at the Warren Newport Public Library. And though I love fiction, um, I actually have had the opportunity to read a couple of nonfiction books, and I wanted to push one of these or talk about one of these today. This was actually a National Book Award finalist, Book of Ages, The Life and Opinions of Jane Franklin by Jill Lepore. Um, you know, most of us know about Ben Franklin. He was brilliant. He was a genius. Um, and his best friend and the wo woman that he actually probably wrote more letters to was his sister Jane. They were the two youngest of 17 born to their parents in um, Boston. Um, she, there, she's kind of, this is kind of the beginning of a whole new idea. Instead of, it's called the, um, a new world, an academic world of histrionics, but what they're doing is they're talking about ordinary people rather than these extraordinary men and battles. These are the lives of ordinary people. Unfortunately, most of what we know about them, we don't because there isn't anything written. Most of them did not write. We're fortunate because a lot of Jane's letters have survived and of course, she has the um, the stigma of being his sister, so she's you know kind of highly regarded. Um, this is a wonderful little book, um, chock full of what life was like for Jane. She actually was married at fifteen. She had twelve children. She took care of her aged, their aged parents, her grandchildren. Um, most of her children died because of smallpox and TB. This was not an easy life for those early settlers um, of our country. And it's kind of just a, you kind of get an idea of how brilliant Ben was and how difficult his, daughter, his sister Jane's life was. Great book, Book of Ages, The Life and Opinions of Jane Franklin. Pick it up.